Motivation Part 3. As you can see, I'm surrounded by trophies, plaques, a sword, and a knife. Let me explain. The trophies to my size, 2007, 2008, are from powerlifting, from bench and deadlift records, I said, competing in Sunlight Power under Dr. Daryl Latch, uh, who's a gym owner, now retired from Chicago, Illinois. That began my lifting career as an amateur. Then I got into Strongman through North American Strongman Company, competed many times, and won several things. All this is just one box I unpacked. This is a reason to work out. This is a reason to train hard. These can put you in beast mode. These two plaques, second places in Strongman. The ninth is a first place in Strongman. This medallion is a first place from a Strongman competition. And the big sword was third place from the Strongman 2009 Nationals. It was very exciting, very fun. When I began training and winning, I put a shelf in my garage and had to eventually had two shelves on the wall. So when I worked out, I could look up and see these trophies. That motivated me. I kept seeing these first place, first place, record holder. And that just made me work harder and harder to set more records, to become better and better. Something like this, you want to get into competition, this will help motivate you. And as your, your lifts grow, your size grows, your weight grows, your personal best grow, you set challenges and goals for yourself, put all this together, a little bit of loud music, and you have a successful workout program. Speaking of goals, let's talk about goals for a second. I've set some really good goals, and I had one really big mistake for a goal. It was too long. Most of the goals you should set are three months goals, maybe six months if it's involving nationals, sometimes up to a year. You know, at Strongman, when you compete national, the moment you're done with that national, you're thinking about next year's national. And how? I competed in the open class, I competed in the master's age, and I competed in a police fire military category for professional first responders. So I was constantly thinking about what was next and then what was down the road and how did I get to next year's nationals. The one mistake that I made, I set a goal when I turned 35, I set a five-year plan that I wanted to gain 60 pounds, which I thought was reasonable, 12 pounds a year. But five years in a row, lifting all natural, that really kind of pushed it. I didn't quite make it. I gained about 45 now, 42 pounds, not quite 50. Almost reached my goal. But the bad part about that wasn't my weight gain, because I was pretty consistent. I counted protein, I counted carbs, really watched that. What really got me was I wanted to take my bench from 315 to 405. And a five-year plan to go up 20 pounds a year, that seems reasonable. But five years gave me the time to train hard several months, and then slack off a little bit, take breaks, train hard, take a break. It was too long of a goal. Should have never went that way. When I realized this, about four and a half years into it, I finally had enough. It was in the wintertime, and I said, this is it, I'm just done. I'm tired of messing around. 30 days, I'm going to try 405 in a raw bench. And I trained really hard for three weeks. My fourth week, I changed. My training, I trained more like I was going to compete, which meant that I backed off the heavy weight. I did a couple lighter days. I rested for about three days, ate really good, went to the firehouse with my buddies, did a good warm-up, told them what I was doing. I said, this is it. We've got to do this today. I'm, I'm tired of this five-year goal. Uh, I sat down, bench 405. Great. I had spotters on the side. I said, don't touch it unless it's laying on me. Slowly brought it down, touched the chest, exploded, pushed it up with no trouble at all. The next week I did it again in a different firehouse with a different fire department. Two weeks in a row I bent 405. My body weight at that time was 208. I lost a little bit, got down to about 202, 203. And that's where I felt really comfortable. I should have set smaller challenges. I should have set smaller goals, shorter term goals. So think about this as you're setting goals, you're beginning, you want to take your workouts to the next level, I'm going to have some videos that won't start off with words like the dumbbell workout or beginner, 
you know, or sets of tens, look for the videos that say intense. Intense workout. Those are the ones that are going to get you first place trophies. Get you on the podium first, second, or third at least. Those are the ones that are going to bring you to the beast mode. So thanks for joining, and I'll see you soon.